All right, tribe, we are about to make the healthiest mongo chobi you've ever eaten. Healthy yet so delicious. This is what I call foods that love you right back, okay? So let me share with you the ingredients. This here is salmon fish. You know salmon is very healthy. I've already cut the salmon up into smaller pieces, but I do get my salmon. Salmon, salmon, that's how they say it, from Butcher Box. Butcher Box is a subscription service. They bring me healthy meat, wild caught fish, and stuff like that. So I always have them include two packs of the salmon in my uh, in my box so they come in little packs that look like this portion controlled so you can just pick one and cook if you want to but because i'm cooking for a huge family i'm gonna cook everything okay so i cut the fish up into smaller pieces you know this is good for your omega-3 fatty acids and stuff so good so convenient so that's the fish and then i'm going to use some peppers boost metabolism yes makes everything taste good from my garden that one i will not grind but i will grind one to make it spicy okay and then i use tomatoes five to six depending on the size for that amount of fish this is about two pounds of the fish and then jansa right here from the african rainforest about 20 grains 15 to 20 you just want that flavor. You don't want to overwhelm your bongo. And then one large onion, salt. I'm going to use olive oil. I'm using light, the one that has like milder flavor. And then here is the star of my bongo chobi. This is not any kind of spice. So do you want a mama root? Na mama root exotic spices bongo chobi spice mix. See? Let me tell you, if this is not the best mongo chobi spice you ever had, I will give you your money back. I'm kidding, but I'm not kidding. So I sell these. This one container here, this huge value pack, promotion, $20. Shipping is separate. So I have it in that huge container and then the smaller one. Okay? So this is $10 and this here is $20. So I recommend you get the value pack. I personally supervise the making of this. So you're getting 100% spices that were all hand selected and crushed. I know exactly what is in there because my sister made these for me. So you're getting spices. So that's all you need. And if you want, you can add a little bit of white pepper if you want. But your bongo chobi spices has everything already. And guess what? We're having our bongo chobi with riced cauliflower. They have these now everywhere. It is like lifesaver. And this one steams directly in the bag. So you just put this in the microwave. Eight minutes later, boom, you have your rice cauliflower. You can eat with your bongo. It tastes good. Trust me. Only 80 calories for this whole thing and you're getting your vegetables. So your veggies, your protein, healthy protein, healthy fat, omega-3 fats, your vegetables. Hello, hello, hello. So let me go ahead and wash these, blend, and then marinate the fish. And then we'll be right back. All right. So here we have the tomatoes, the onions, the bongo chubby spices. I have about three tablespoons the pepper and then I put about maybe one teaspoon of the white pepper and some salt and I'm going to blend it and two cups oh, um, yeah one one and a half cups of water I added one more tablespoon of the spices that's how African cooking goes to adjust the color that is good I have added some of the pink salt. You can add any regular salt to the fish directly. Mixed it up, okay? So now I'm going to pour my marinade in here. 
then I'm going to just move things around. That's it. I will cover this up and let it just marinate for at least one hour. Two is better. Overnight is best. And we are ready to cook. I like to use a large pot. That is because the walls of this pot serve as a barrier to prevent stuff from splattering to my stove top. That is the only reason why. So we warm, um, we heat up the, the oil a little. I used one third of a cup. You don't need too much oil to keep it fat loss friendly. And then we just add the fish and the marinade. That is basically it. And then you cook it until the fish is done and the sauce has cooked down to your preference of thickness okay i like mine a little on the thick side and then you just you know taste it and adjust seasoning adjust the salt content um, add more salt if it's not salted enough or add seasoning cube would not recommend but that is your choice and your bongo is is ready you know it's so simple and so intensely delicious all that extra oil, you don't need it to make the dish delicious. Mbungo chobi is popular in Cameroon. I think it's the traditional dish of the people from the littoral region of Cameroon, that Douala area. And um, I, I really, really like it. It's something that I make quite frequently to the extent where I'm now selling the spices. So I'm having Mbungo with a cauliflower rice. Riced cauliflower is cauliflower for the love of veggies. You can absolutely just cook the cauliflower because I buy it frozen in the microwave, but that way it's very bland. I like to just put it in a pot or, you know, in a rice cooker and then heat it up, warm it through until the water evaporates. That way I can add some salt and seasoning to it. So you can microwave the rice cauliflower or you can cook it in a pot. I really recommend you do it in a pot like this if you do have time. Otherwise, microwave is fine. This will taste like... It will have the feel, not taste like, of rice and mbongo chobi. That's the feel you will have. But it will taste like cauliflower and mbongo chobi just to manage expectations. But so yummy, so fat loss friendly, foods that love you right back. Thank you for watching. Take care of yourselves. Until next time, your sister in the journey, Yajay. Bye-bye.